Hi guys, today it's all about intensity. Are you training hard enough, smart enough, burying your exercises enough to help you maximize the results you're looking for? If you're not, this is the video that I'm going to show you and give you a little tricks and tips of how to maximize your exercise and your training program to help you give you the results you're looking for. Okay guys, I've heard this word thrown around many times about intensity. I'm training hard, I'm lifting heavy, I'm throwing weights all over the place. But is this intensity when it comes to building muscle? Probably not. When it comes to building muscle, it's all about the feedback from your muscle. If your muscles are not telling you they're burning, you're feeling the pump, they're getting fatigued, then basically your intensity is going to waste. You can lift heavier weight and swing back and forth. This doesn't mean you're increasing intensity to help you maximize your result. Now, one thing that I'm going to tell you about intensity is that if you're doing resistance training, if your goal is to build muscle, and then you swing swinging the weights all over the place, you're not isolating your muscles, you're not isolating your biceps or your chest or your shoulders, and then if you get out of breath before your muscle gets fatigued, this is not intensity. So basically your body is using oxygen instead of glycogen because when you're lifting weight, when you build a muscle, you do want glycogen to be maximized. Yeah, you're going to use oxygen here and there, but you shouldn't feel like you're out of breath completely before your muscle fatigue. So you have to get feedback from your muscle. When you're doing bicep curls, you have to feel the muscle contract at the end. You have to feel the pump. You have to feel the, the, the fatigue of the muscle. This is how you know that intensity of your workout is going into the muscle that you train. And also, to maximize your intensity, you want to make sure you focus on that muscle as well. Make sure you choose a reasonable amount of weight. And let's say you have a target rep. Your repetition, let's say you want to do 15 reps or 6 reps or 8 repetitions. By the time you get to 8 and you know you can do 2 more reps, or you can do five more reps, or you can do six more reps, hit it. Because at the end of the day, it's not about how many repetitions you do, it's about what's the muscle, the feedback you're getting from your muscle. So guys, make sure you listen to what your muscles are doing, what, what your muscles are feeling. Make sure you tune your mind into working those muscles so you can use your mind to, to raise the intensity level in your muscle. And also, when it comes to intensity, how many reps should I do? How many sets should I do? How many exercises per muscle group should I do? I've heard people throw numbers around about doing six exercises for each muscle group. This is insane. I'm a natural professional bodybuilder. I make sure at least I do four different exercises for each muscle group. Now, if you're a beginner, you want to do at least two exercises for each muscle group, preferably four, four sets of probably 15 to maybe 12 repetitions. If you're an intermediate, you want to do about three exercises for each muscle group. But if you're advanced level or a, a, a more than advanced, you want to do about four exercises for each muscle group. Now, when you advance, you can do different variations when it comes to building muscle. When it comes to in increasing your intensity, basically what you need to do is dynamic training that I call superset. When you supersetting, let's say for example, I'm working my biceps. Um, I'm doing standing by, by dumbbell curls. I go right away from standing dumbbell curls into a preacher curls. From a preacher curl, I can go from there into uh, high puller curls. So I'm doing three different exercises in one set. I'm doing three different exercises in one set. So basically what this is going to do is increase your intensity. Alright guys, like I told you earlier, I'm going to show you an example of a drop set. So a drop set is basically geared to really maximize the result, maximize your intensity so your muscles can be able to work a little harder so you can break down the muscle fibers for growth. So what I'm going to do, I've already warmed up, I'm going to pick up a 20 pound dumbbell. Actually I'm going to pick up a 25 pound dumbbell. So I picked it up and I'm doing my standing dumbbell curls. 
curl up. I'm gonna turn sideways. So you guys might see my form, you guys can see my form. I'm not doing this or swinging my body back and forth. You wanna keep your elbows to your side and just curl up really slow. Cut down right about there. Squeeze at the top. Control the negatives. So I'm using time under tension right now. The time that it takes for me to get my muscle, the movement from down here to up here. As you can see, I'm not swinging my body back and forth. Intensity is not about how much weight you lift. Intensity is about how hard your muscle is working. So I go as much as, as many as I can with the reps. I set the 25s down. Then I pick up, pick up the 20s. Up, squeeze at the top. Come down slow. Squeeze at the top. Control the speed. Slow and control. As I feel my muscle is completely fatigued. Drop the 20s down. Now I pick up the 15s. Same tempo. Same control. Same intensity. Now I'm getting that fit back from my muscle. Even though it's 15 pounds, the muscle is completely fatigued right now. So there you have it guys. Intensity is not about how much weight you lift. Because mind you, we're not power lifters. We're not weight lifters. We're bodybuilders. Our goal is to build muscle mass. And not only build muscle mass, and also to prevent injuries. Because if you're training and lifting too much weight for a specific muscle, you're not gonna be able to isolate that muscle, and then you, you turn an isolation exercise into a compound exercise, body moving back and forth. So guys, make sure you remember this. The feedback that you get from your muscle, that really, that's what really determines intensity. It's not about how much weight you lift, it's not about how many repetitions you do, it's about the feedback from the muscle you're training. Remember that. You do a drop set, and also you can do a pyramid. You can go from light to heavy. That's another, you know, variation. So keep this in mind, you know, do what you need to do, but do it the right way. Train smart, train intensively, and make sure you vary your exercises every week. Mojo the Wamani Muscle, signing out.